Namaskar. Hello and welcome to P Guru's channel. I'm your host, Sri Ayer. Joining me today is Colonel Ajay Raina. And he's not a stranger to our channel. He has been with us before. We're going to talk about a very, very interesting topic, ISI. Is this East India Company version 2.0? Why the parallels are stunning and how this has grown. And again, how it has tried to sustain itself on drugs. East India 1.0 was on opium. And now you have East India 2.0, which is the ISI on drugs. So we have lots of parallels. And we're also talk, going to talk about the impact of the 2000 rupee note being withdrawn from circulation, how it has affected the ISI industry, the fake currency, as well as something very interesting that perhaps not has been discussed a whole lot. Any Pakistani celebrity that comes to India, whether it is an actor, journalist, uh, singer, whatever it is, all these people are briefed before they leave for India by the ISI and then debriefed when they come back. So all this and more with Colonel Ajay Raina. Please first like this video and also if you have not subscribed to our channel, do subscribe to our channel. And here comes Colonel Raina. Raina ji, Ram Ram, how are you? Jai Shri Ram, Namaskar Shri ji, all well. Lord's been kind. Sir, uh, you are a great raconter of tales. So I am going to leave the floor to you. You can go back in time because this ISI, interestingly, you know, they don't have an external wing and an internal wing looks like. It is only ISI, whether it is, so it is CBI, IB and RAW all combined in one. Perhaps even MI also. Everything combined into one. So kind of give us a, a, a backgrounder on this. And you and I agree that these guys are, you know, these guys are just like, just as opportunistic as the the original East India Company was. So I, I yield the floor to you. Over to you, sir. Yeah, thank you, Shri, sir. It's a very interesting parallel you draw. Uh, East India 1 and East India 2, yes. They were opium masters. These guys are uh, heroin and uh, related drugs. Also, East India Company, as you would remember, had the patronage of the crown of England. So these guys also had patronage of crown of Pakistan, which happens to be army headquarters, GHQ. Uh, everybody else is irrelevant as we know. Uh, yes, so they are, uh, and third uh, communities, both are business enterprises. So they, they can sell anybody anything for money, uh, which they've been doing traditionally. And there's a reason they have a very checkered past. We tend to, Shiriji, we tend to give too much to them. I mean, in my view, you should not underestimate your enemy, but at the same time, you should not overestimate your enemy. Because when I run through the history of uh, ISI as desired by you, you'll Come to know that they are not as funny as we may make them to be. So, 1948, there was an Australian British officer, uh, Robert uh, Major General Robert Cotham. He and uh, one Pakistani officer, uh, Shahid Hamid. These two guys were the uh, father or so-called people who started ISI in 1948. Uh, interestingly, this Abdul Hamid was a very close friend of Ayub Khan. Ayub Khan that time was brigadier, and he knew that. In coming years, he'll be chief of Pakistan Army st staff. So he, <laughs> imagine, he was 10th overall seniority, Ayub Khan, very senior in Pakistan. Their next chief, uh, as you know, our chief uh, of Army staff, Navy, Air Force and Pakistan, all six, three here and three there in 47, 48, were all British. Uh, and the next chief Pakistan, like we had our uh, chief coming up there after General Karyapa, that next chief, uh, was killed in an air crash, which is again a Pakistani tradition, but he actually got killed. He was on his way to do some foreign courts in London or somewhere, and his plane crashed uh, on his way from his, his headquarters to the nearest uh, international airport. So Ayub Khan was very clear that he's going to be on top of things. So he put his own man. Now this Shahid Hamid also happens to be, interestingly, Salman Rushdie's uncle. Hmm. So see how small is the world and how things get tangled up. So these people started this uh, organization called ISI in Karachi in 1948, and then they shifted to uh, Islamabad. Now GHQ is in Rawalpindi, though physically they are not very far from each other, but Islamabad happens to be the capital. ISI works under PMO, so to say. So it has that kind of a look also that no, no, we are we have nothing to do with army, though we know that ISI chief is supposed to be advisor to Prime Minister of Pakistan, who in any case is relevant most of the times. And uh, as we understand, he will only advise Prime Minister as much as he is told by Army Headquarters, Army Chief, to disclose or advise. Like Kargil, we, you know, uh, Nawaz Shiv says, I didn't know. 
and uh, Musharraf had sent troops into uh, Kargil. So that time, ISA chief was probably telling Nawaz, uh, Nawaz, nothing is happening. Probably he never briefed him. So that is a kind of relationship they enjoy. So basically, it is a tool uh, in the hands of uh, army, but the tool through which army does a lot of things which otherwise it can't do, uh, officially or non-officially. So this guy, so 1958, of course, Ayub, uh, when he came through there after uh, uh, staging the coup, so ISA, of course, by that time had come into being, it was functioning. But at that time, uh, Shiriji, because Ayub has, had just displaced a politician, uh, Skandar Mirza, I think was his name. So yeah. the task given to ISI was to keep an eye on two kind of two category of people in Pakistan. One was communists, and second was Bhutto's uh, party. Basically, uh, the power power uh, uh, Pakistan power, Sindh. power party. Ah. Sindh, yeah. So the ISI, like you asked me, the in me hai kya ka? ISI is equivalent has military int, services int like our IB, Intelligence Bureau, and everything else, everything is basically overshadowed. They have a military intelligence, of course, but everything is, uh, when it comes to uh, opinion making or recommending something or assessment on intelligence, it is ISA which has the final word. So it is one agency which which has different hats, and there's a reason they, uh, they've they been failing, which I'll tell you later. Okay, so they work under uh, PMO, and uh, in 2008, uh, they tried to put it under Home Ministry. So within 24 hours, this order was cancelled. Again, we know uh, who, who did it because the army didn't like it. So it's basically ISS chief is chief army staff's man and officially he's advisor to PM. Now they have 11 directors within ISI. So these directors have been changing their names and nomenclature and identities. Uh, that is understood. But interest and they, they employ people from uh, army. Then uh, their armed uh, police forces, like we have CRPF and uh, BSF, that kind of ranges. So they also are civilians. And then they have a SS directorate, special services, which is manned by SSG commandos. Uh, and then Joint Int North Jammu and Kashmir, which was earlier called Joint Inter Intelligence Bureau. Uh, that is also one of the directorates. And this is one interesting uh, directorate which exists even today is a political directorate. This is a directorate which gave rise to Nawaz Sharif, brought him up, made him a prime minister, and later on, they, again, same department, brought up Imran Khan. So this is how, from politics to uh, anti-communist, to intelligence, to foreign intelligence, to internal intelligence, everything else, they handle. So th because of this kind of a chaotic uh, assignment, uh, the task tasking given to them, in 1965, they could not even detect when our armored division moved into Pakistan. Now, armored division is a huge, huge army. You imagine thousands of tanks and vehicles and everybody else going, and they, they had no clue because, because of this chaotic kind of assignment. Uh, because, like I said, initially they were tasked only to keep an eye inside. Then, uh, 1965 onwards, they started pulling up their socks and they started fanning problem in our northeast and also got uh, some people on the task of uh, reviving Khalistan movement. This is 60, 66 onwards. But in 1971, our RAW, uh, R&AW, they gave them another uh, bloody nose when uh, our sources in that time, East Pakistan, had the army go in and liberate uh, Bangladesh. So 65, they failed. 66, they tried to do something to us. Because if you remember when Bangladesh was happening, there were rebels uh, next to Chittagong track where Indian rebels and uh, these guys were crossing into each other. Our, our Indian rebels were being trained by Pakistani army in Chittagong track. So they started that game at 71 happened and then thereafter in 1978. So till then you can take it that they did nothing or whatever they did, they failed. This is till 70s. Late 70s, that in 1978, Janat Jilani now, this General Jilani was senior to General Zia, but he agreed to serve under General uh, Zia. Generally, what happens is when uh, General is superseded and uh, junior guy is elevated, like General Zia was elevated uh, out of turn, the so seniors generally quit. They generally carry on. They don't serve under. This is normally the tradition, but though in uh, India also, we had only one supersession once and people kept on serving, but generally 
this is what they do. But this guy was more than willing to serve under Zia because he used to say that dream Zia Saab and I share is common dream. That is destruction of Pakistan, uh, India and revenge of 71. So, but one thing he did for the reasons best known to people in India, after 71, we actually vacated Bangladesh in a sense. Why did we, we do that? Our, yeah, yeah, I don't. I mean, this is again a subject. <laughs> why didn't we take up, take back our prisoners of war? Why did we give the ninety three thousand uh, civilians and yeah. soldiers yeah. together? So these are the uh, blots which remain, and uh, there are reasons for that. We can discuss some other time. So R and AW created space for them to get back into Bangladesh, and the results are now being seen, yes. including what happened yes. yesterday. Yeah. So see how things. Uh, I mean. Short term, if you don't have the foresight or uh, long term uh, perspective, so your decision taken in short term generally bang, boomerang on you. This is one example. In '78, ISI got involved in Afghanistan. Now people feel and believe, and if we read books written by Americans and uh, English uh, authors, they say that sergeant of SAS came and he from Pakistan. He went into Afghanistan, then he did the recce went back, briefed people in uh, CIA in uh, a very interesting book written by him where he was traveling and somebody tried to snatch his briefcase. All the stories there. But point to be noticed, Shiriji, is Pakistan had already started intervening into, uh, interfering into uh, uh, Afghanistan without any external support. So this was a first big gamble taken by or the behest of ISI. They said, Jo Aega, the gamble was that they'll do something in Afghanistan because that time what was happening? Russians had a lot of influence on, in Kabul and north of it. And Americans were doing a lot of civic action, building roads, tracks, and hospitals, Jalalabad and South, Kandahar and Jalalabad, this area. So basically, Afghanistan was under two powers that time, the two superpowers div divided. Now, Pakistan was a tool, but military intervention in, in Afghanistan affairs was started by ISI itself without backing of British or Americans. It's only when next year, 79, when things started flaring up and then they came and their gamble paid off when they started getting a lot of money and a uh, uh, lot of uh, weapons and uh, unlimited, unasked questions. And it, nothing, they were ne never accounted for. Only once they were asked, you stinger missiles, where are our stinger missiles? Because those stinger missiles, which Americans had given to them and they were found all over the world. So they just blew up their dump next to the headquarters. They said, oh, smeta, oh, jal gaya, oh, gaya sara. This is another story. So ISI ke kafi interesting si cheez hai. Again, they failed in uh, 84 when Sachin happened. So that story, you must be knowing that we wanted to buy equipment from Europe, some country. There we came to know the Pakistan army is also buying. And based on that, we, sp we kind of pushed our procurement in a faster pace. And we, we beat Pakistan by a few days, a few hours, people say, when we climbed on to highest points in Sachin. So there also ISI had no clue that Indian Army is climbing up from other side. But a major thing happened towards end of uh, 1980s as the Russians were failing miserably in Afghanistan. Hamid Gul, who was a Pashtun himself, he took over ISI. And General Zia, of course, that time was ruling like dictator just before his death. Ham Hamid Gul turned complete ISI into Islamic organization. So... It was Salaam Alaikum instead of good morning, good evening. Like we in Indian Army or Forces, we generally use English way of greeting. Uh, recently, we started using about 10 years back Jai Hind. Otherwise, within officers, I mean Jai Hind by Jawans were always used. So they switched over to uh, Islamic way of greeting. Salawar Kameej was allowed inside ISF uh, headquarters and people were allowed to grow beard. Uh, what Not normal beard. Beard without moustache, that kind of beard, that uh, mullah type beard. So this culture was brought in by Hamid Gul, and who took a lot of pride in saying that people used to say that he used to go and uh, smoke opium with the Afghans. But he was a man who was instrumental in this uh, Afghan thing, and then getting those people into Kashmir, those resources into Kashmir. So Hamid Gul, the father of jihad, again. So under him, ISI transformed very badly. Now. As 1980s also, another thing happened. One assassination attempt was made on Zia during annual day parade. Uh, but later on, when Zia was killed, so when people started analyzing who would have must have killed Zia, so they said uh, India, RNW, but it was beyond us. Russians wanted Zia dead. The, there was a news, like we discussed last time, that Indian Russians did it together. Finally, it came down to CIA did it. There also people are saying the ISA had supported CIA's 
uh, thing. So you imagine if this is true, this is speculation. That if ISI was in uh, on the same platform or same level with CIA when get, getting the General Zia killed, now rest we can leave it to imagination. But this is one of the theories which says that they had a heart because nothing moves in Pakistan without ISI. Is like I, I think unknown men. We I discussing your platform or Adi's platform. Adi's uh, platform, but it yeah, is a continuation I, of that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> it, it has to be ISI involvement. Unknown. Nobody can operate in Pakistan like this without ISI knowing it or. Anyways, so they also, ISI also had a role to, uh, in assassination of Bhutto brothers, uh, two sons of uh, uh, Benazir's father, I mean Benazir's brothers, uh, one in Europe, one in Afghanistan. And then uh, they came into, they started playing that 66 wala game in Punjab, started hitting up. Now, there's also time when ISI started ha having base, uh, Bangladesh they had taken over. Uh, I mean, they had roots there. They also got into Nepal. But this is all it happening in 80s. And we were somehow, I don't know, we were not that proactive. We let the thing happen in Punjab. But then they realized that Punjab could be taken, the temperature in Punjab could be raised to a certain level. Beyond that, it will be taken. I mean, any kind of reaction can come. Because in 1965, they had this gamble. 47, 48, they said what? They said, we'll go into Kashmir. And war was actually fought in Jammu and Kashmir. Nothing happened in the rest of India and Pakistan. 1971, Bangladesh, of course, happened. 65 May, they came into, they when they sent their infiltrator, infiltrators and those guys, SSG commandos into Kashmir and Jammu, their gamble was this only, that again, India will fight inside JNK and we'll have good time elsewhere. But India then went into their Punjab. And then the 65 war unfolded and pressure on JNK was released. So they, this they knew, that if Punjab, the temperature in Punjab goes beyond a the level, there will be repercussion. So what they did, they opened another front, which was Kashmir. So if you see the timeline, there was an attempt which many observers said that ISI is trying to join Kashmiris and uh, Khalistanis together and create or that kind of a thing. But if you read their memoirs and you, you see the trend, they deliberately kept the boiling temperature in Punjab below a certain level. Because unlike Kashmir, where you know, there were politicians who, I'll name them, there's no nothing hidden. Fargudullah had gone to Pakistan to uh, address rally of JKLF. So that kind of support inside from politicians inside Punjab was not available. Public sentiment was not that kind of a sentiment which was could be aroused because Islam was a thing which was in Kashmir, which was not in Punjab. So Islam khatre mein dalke wo jo, that thing which they do, it was happening in Kashmir. So they switched over to Kashmir. And then uh, what has been happening in Kashmir, we all know. So today, if you see ISI is involved in the politics, Pakistan, once again, Imran Khan was the latest. They are also, uh, uh, they get involved in coups and anti-coups. They are into Kashmir, Punjab and East. And their narco uh, donations from smuggling and CIA funding, everything is what has been sustaining ISI till now. But then you ask me that what happened with 2000 rupees notes. Before that, one big jatka which ISI has got recently is uh, burning of opium fields by uh, Taliban. Now, this Jalabal belt, like I said, southern part of Afghanistan, Jalabal Kandar, this belt was total opium growing belt. And nobody can really say that opium is finished because Afghanistan is a huge, vast country. A lot of it is wasteland. It's being grown. But then they also export to other other, other areas uh, to their uh, west and north. This side of the main produce which used to come and they had a belt of factories along Peshawar uh, border, uh, Durand line. Those factories are now running out of business. And there's a reason they were they are very annoyed with the Afghans. And you'll be surprised. You must have seen the, uh, uh, that news item. Then when Taliban started this, even Europeans reacted. Americans reacted. They said, no, this is something very bad being done by Taliban. Unki rozi roti memory. Look at how games are played. They wanted this thing to continue. They wanted ISI to sustain. On, because drug money is the money which has been sustaining ISI for decades now. Then is the second thing which people wrongly refer to as demonetization. Modi ji didn't need demonetization. Demonetization is going to happen next year when the, the currency will go out. When we switch over to digital rupee. <clears throat> it was change of currency of 2000 rupees. Uh, Shiri ji, <clears throat> the amount of paper which used to come into Pakistan was much more than India's requirement of annual requirement of paper, currency notes. So, you know, you imagine, you know, how much is, see, as per one I don't know, was... Karan Sorry. Saab, I don't know if you have read my second book, Paper in Money Out. Have you read that one? 
That yeah, book is lying there with me. I've read half half it through. It's lying there. With me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, in fact, it's just five meters from me. I was very busy. In the morning also, I had a long day, so I am I'm yet to finish it. Okay, you mentioned this. Uh, yes, 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 okay. yes, yes. Okay. Uh, this is a fact. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Uh, so there, there is a there is a totally different angle that I'm coming at. Look, look, viewers, my book is a book of fiction. how do i construct my ideas is i take two or three data points and then i try to connect the dots and because i write it as fiction i can take some liberties i could be right yeah. i could be wrong instead of sri lanka it might be afghanistan it could in there things of that nature but that's about it but the overall concept in my book paper in money out is exactly what you are saying about this fake currency in a bigger way uh, the first one about uh, demonetization was very localized to that which is who painted my money white this one yeah. is uh, it starts in 1980s and comes up to 2022 and you have to read it i'm telling you there is so much information there in that book and it it is written in a storyline form for example i have a new theory for the 1999 hijack also read about that sarji we will talk you and i okay. will talk you discuss my book you review my book well ye theek nahi hai ye because it's a fiction book So I have no okay. problem saying that. Chalega story hai wo. Black people. Shri Ji, that uh, who painted my money white, I acknowledged in one of our previous shows that I yes, draw, yes. I drew inspiration from that, and I yes, yes. modeled few books of mine on those lines, and that has now become my thumb rule. You pick up data wonderful. point, and then you, wonderful, it sir. always wonderful. Uh, yeah. So did you have you mentioned figures there? How many? How much was the currency involved? when uh, modi ji won that um, declared yes. yes there is some there are some numbers involved but again see trillion. this is not huh 16 trillion 16 trillion so is 20 23 zeros after one the rest <laughs> the rest viewers can calculate this was the kind of money which pakistan had ready or had the raw material to push into india when it happened and uh, of course uh, agency and and you look at this uh, shri ji if they are getting money which is more than uh, indian uh, annual consumption or requirement even if they were selling at 50% 40% 30% they different figures and then you look at the size of pakistan economy so one doesn't need to be a nuclear scientist to understand that when you are sustaining yourself not only i say <laughs> i mean you are sustaining lot of yourself on fake currency by exchanging it and by the way shri ji when the money went back from jn banks from jnk into uh, rbi after that so called demonetization more than 50% of currency from jnk was found to be fake in the banks yeah so for stone throwing only fake currency right <laughs> yes and then and surprisingly the money is coming back to banks and banks are not checking it yes elsewhere if you go with a bundle right. of i mean that time you went to the bundle of 2000 rupees or whatever currency So they will put it through machine and you know check. Some of it was not happening in Kashmir. So it's a very deep nexus. It's it's not only stone pelters or uh, hoodiers or terrorists. There are civilians and other guys, overground workers and sympathizers who are involved. Otherwise, so much of money cannot find its way into uh, a treasury of the bank, uh, treasury which is which banks maintain on behalf of RBI in every state. So that was a kind of, uh, in my opinion, I mean it's very simple. It actually broke. Uh, the, now, if you imagine that Modi sir did it in 2016, so next day Pakistan will break. No, so that journey of Pakistan's decline has actually started from. It is one of the reasons, in my own view, that triggered the collapse of Pakistan economy and uh, difficulties for ISI. ISI is now in deeper waters because of drug also drug money also getting stopped. Uh, that's the reason. Uh, in one of the talk shows, I was mentioning that I have a very clear. i mean idea in my mind is my perception that americans are back in pakistan they are now helping isi and pakistan because and to cut that iran china russia wala axis and there's a reason the unknown governments have become very active in pakistan this is my theory but uh, yes i agree with you shri ji there is no doubt that money uh, that change of currency 2000 rupees broke a uh, backbone of pakistan economy and of course i say was affected there's, there's no doubt uh, sir one one thing before we continue i i mean again viewers you have to understand the uh, 
how pakistan at some points india pakistan used to be more prosperous than india and you know why viewers it's because they were part of these treaties that they signed with uh, with with united states ciato cento disto usto i mean all sorts of things and there used to be money coming in then afghanistan war again money came in so inko na chu baithe baithe khane ki bahut achhi aadat hai and i think at some point of time hamid gul probably said okay chalo ab chhapte hain note inke and again that money also was coming in the easy way to get it to in, to india was jammu and kashmir nepal was another place bihar Shri west bengal Shri lanka and sri lanka and kerala my goodness that's where it got caught finally yeah. so you, you you had so many things that are happening inko roz ki kar kaam karne ke aadat nahi hai this is the problem these guys have anyway back to you sir Shri ji, 2012, I think, our Nitish Kumar went to Pakistan to study their way of governance. Hallelujah! Economy. I've been saying Imagine. this for a long time. <laughs> so they were doing well. They were doing well. You're right. In fact, six, seven, eighties, nineties. Since I live in the state where we have a lot of Muslim friends, so people who used to go to Hajj and come back, most of them used to get back things made in Pakistan. I mean, mm. available in Pakistan. Like if you wanted a walkie, uh, that uh, Walkman, the small one, Walkman, right, right, right. Cassette one. Right. Sorry, ka, ha, ha. या तो सोने का और ओरिजिनल वाला पाकिस्तान से ये हाजी पाकिस्तानीज विल कम फॉर हज एंड सेल द स्टफ देयर एंड आर गाइस विल बिंग एंड टेक्सटाइल पाकिस्तान टेक्सटाइल व्हिच इज एक्चुअल पाकिस्तानी प्रोडक्ट वाज वेरी फेमस एंड वेरी गुड क्वालिटी बट लाइक यू सेड मल्टीपल फैक्टर्स इंक्लूडिंग दिस वन दैट आप ये करो 1000 कट्स के नाम पे एवरीथिंग बिकेम हलाल इन पाकिस्तान एज लॉन्ग एज इट वाज बीइंग लॉन्च्ड अगेंस्ट इंडिया सो यू कुड डू एनीथिंग एंड गेट अवे कन्विंस पीपल दैट वी आर डूइंग दिस थिंग to bleed india so do it so while doing that how much money you made you looted saudis you you had a lot of money coming from usa uh, and uh, shri ji another point again for a common uh, is a common sense thing if this money thing was not that serious why would pakistan push it from uh, into kashmir from pakistan itself from nepal from bangladesh from sri lanka from wherever they could so they they understood the value and i'm sure even our agency has also had a, a wind of it but why government was not again that your book first book is pretty good uh, i mean it's very clear and that thing was <laughs> attitude <laughs> money money is uh, something which which buys a lot of things shri ji so but one thing i'll tell you uh, like i started uh, saying that that we should not really give them too much isi see they are lutheras they are gundas for rent other than afghanistan mission which they did and first first part of afghanistan when russia was thrown out of and people say that russia broke ussr broke because of whatever but for that they failed everywhere now taliban is out of control so they tried again sending their is chief t wala bada photo photo they bonkers ttp is product of same mindset is taking toll kashmir no kashmir has actually put is pakistan on a terrorist map when india says that pakistan is a terrorist country it is a hub, global hub of hub of extremism so this is a, basically is is failure i mean who's done it in pakistan is basically is which has done it so they brought a very bad name to a country and another thing uh, interesting happening as of now is they have a lot of pashtuns in is because initially as is when it came into some kind of act after bloody nose of 71 and thereafter in 80s uh late 70s and 80s there are a lot of pashtuns who are recruited into uh, uh isi though isi people go on deportation there are many who stay back and civilians have a longer tenure now with this ttp thing happening and taliban going as them and all the the western border getting uh, hot the fisher which is already there in pakistan army is also there in isi so how are they managing it how are they going to uh, tackle this this is a big challenge because intelligence is not everybody's cup of tea every foji can't be intelligence operative so you have certain people i'm not talking of people who operate on ground the people who who control the desk naturally you can't have a, a really a punjabi controlling uh, everything in afghanistan it had to be had it he had to be assisted or he himself had to be pashtun to because he was interacting with those seven parties and those chiefs and amit gul was known for that only in fact his chief himself was afghani that time pashtun so uh, that is another challenge which so drug money gone currency gone then fisher inside isi so now if they're surviving it has to be thanks to your people i mean people from your where you're sitting shri ji cia ki support ke bina isi would have collapsed by now 
अभी उनको बचाएंगे बिकॉज सी आई अपनी गेम खेलेगा और आई सी को फिर टूल बनाएगा विच इज वी नीड टू सी अभी वॉच क्या होने वाला है वट इज गोट टू है uh one one addition thing what uh, to what you said uh, viewers uh, there was one video i did about who in the state department hates india and you can talk look at the actual characters remember these characters are not the ones who have like personal hatred against india they are being lobby and that lobby is the one that is strong enough and to understand which lobby is what i also gave you like blinken what was he before th- this and where is he going to go once this term ends it could be fired tomorrow because you saw that one thing where uh, biden calls uh, xi jinping a dictator and his secretary of state says no 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 you shouldn't have said that <laughs> <laughs> if somebody shows it to biden and if he's awake i know what will happen <laughs> in fact i mean it may be imagination shri ji if you look at the picture in our neighborhood if actually america is taking taking control of pakistan which i am sure they are taking russia has had his share of problems in ukraine whatever you may say ukraine has been right, destroyed right. but russia also so if you look at china now china had very good friend in pakistan who had very good access to iran halanki pakistan iranian don't see eye to eye but when it comes to that level anything can happen like today's news is that pakistan is supplying uh, same ammunition ukraine wala is now landing up in israel for israel army so if that can happen if, if from a country which had banned in the passport reads in pakistan not valid for uh, israel it is it is part right. of a printed passport so at that level anything happens so if you look at that if that that be so this visit and this interaction despite biden calling him dictator uh, is usa uh, i mean are these two people usa and china on a path of con- reconciliation or conciliation for for a while because china will also need it for uh, building up whatever is lacking and america in any case you know better so again this is just a speculation but the way things are happening around us what's your assessment of uh, uh, z's visit to uh, usa you know he, he took he took the patra begging bowl ah mere paas aakar fir se business banao so the take away was not a single company was interested in investing in china and in fact people are pulling their money out yesterday walmart walmart has moved more or less all of its operations into vietnam okay and this is yesterday's news and 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 so she is losing his uh, economic might that was there with china that is going fast so he is going to lash out in fact biden was actually poking fun at him oh, i don't know if you saw that video we had it on our channel once what happens is xi jinping has to use a car that has been built in china and this was okay. sent se- separately and you know it was sent for his use in uh, in us in a rare moment of full clarity biden takes a pot shot at him he looks at the car and he says no very nice then he says you see the car across the street it's a cadillac we call it the beast the the beast is you you can look it up b e a s t viewers yeah yeah uh, look at the beast beast is the presidential car car it has got everything you can think of it can it even has anti aircraft also and and he oh. said <laughs> he said that this what he left but is everybody's imagination you bloody copied this that was what okay. he was saying <laughs> okay <laughs> no, the so car looks is... exactly like a cadillac <laughs> okay so obviously china is tra- planning to trying to buy some time and money from us but us also has fears of uh, interference in elections if china is on wrong Where side sir ji wo ek maine iska ek bhi kitab likha hai ek minute i'll show you the book there this is the book okay who painted my state purple okay and and this is the book i wrote about what happened in 2020 elections and okay. uh, this is available in amazon and also available in my website srihair.com viewers can read it and this tells you what might have played out in 2020 elections 
um sir ji aapko and our, our viewers now are familiar because i keep saying this again and again six states maybe in 2024 15 states are going to determine who go, becomes the next president not the entire 50 states us has got a wacky system of selecting its president so what has happened and uh, is that you had when you become a citizen or whenever you start becoming a voter you are usually asked a question would you like to register yourself as a democrat or a republican or something else okay so many people now are saying that we don't want to register as democrat or republicans we want to register as independents the number of states that have more independents than democrats or republicans is going to be 20 in 2024 today it is 9 in the next 8 to 12 months as this uh, you know primaries happens and things like that so the independents are going to decide who shall be the president of united states okay so this is That's actually right. creating fear in both the camps see republicans right republicans don't like trump because just like vivek ramaswamy trump was an external guy helicoptered in suddenly he comes into the debates and he starts smashing about everybody likes what he says by the way the very good speaker very good speaker i mean what you saw in debates is only public persona but when he when he would go to small town address a, a gathering of 1000 people 2000 people he knew exactly what was their pain point see michigan somebody has some pain point uh, new york somebody may have a different kind of a pain so he knew exactly how to tell them to reach out to them and say i will take care of your problems so th- so this is the thing now with independence becoming the more dominant voting block how 2024 is going to turn out is going to be anybody's guess but because the president is so weak because of the internal fissures like for example today surprise surprise ilhan omar is a signatory of a letter that is telling united states to ban aid to pakistan i said you read this thing wrong yeah, yeah. <laughs> so left hand person is her yeah yes 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 so ye monkey balancing bhi ho sakti hai right ab tak inke yeah. bare mein now i go against the thing because she probably see i get these people all read my watch my videos uh, rena ji uh, what i did was i said there is hanky panky in the election in that particular place where she won from the okay. hanky panky did not happen in the actual election the hanky panky happened in the primary where okay. democrat versus democrat beat each other okay there is proof right so these things are happening now so okay. all i'm saying is viewers you come to p gurus you'll get all these different things that's going on and and sometimes we we'll, I- we get huh? I wish I can catch up with you, Shri. You have an amazing speed. Four, four shows in a day. <laughs> Mind-boggling. Sir, 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 watch at 9 am with rvs money what kind of facts we bring out about this recently concluded world cup okay. different topic back to this one because okay. pakistan to yahi hota hai na these these guys don't let go of you there is a dubai based pakistani tv commentator comes into world cup and then she's caught trying to honey trap one sri lankan player uh and then she she is asked to leave immediately but yeah. what did the what did the media say you you remember this is just happened last ah. week or t- two weeks ago she had cursed hindus or something that's why she's been sent back or same girl no <laughs> are sir ji jo ho bhi ho sakta hai these guys are all doing that the pakistani team comes and lands in india and complains no beef no beef no beef yes you, you eat what you want bring your own beef if you want to <laughs> these, these are all just uh, yeah. low lives anyway she, so the, yeah. this yeah, go Se- ahead sir. second uh, thing yeah. second thing was you uh, you query about uh celebrities being tasked by isi and then debriefed uh actually all uh, agencies every country does it but they don't do to every celebrity i mean there are people who sent on mission like somebody may be sent on particular mission into pakistan or china uh, posing to be a businessman or something posing to be anybody so when if he or she has been sent on mission so when they come back they are debriefed 
the, the briefing is done. But in case of Pakistan, like you said, they leave nobody. You you would be knowing what happened, uh, what they were doing with the cricket team. The cricket yes. team to carry the drug like we have beach mein and we slept over it. Uh, they've been sending people for treatment into India, medical treatment, so-called medical tourism, where uh, the, there's a patient and the person with him has no relation with the patient, but the person is put as father or mother or guardian and then sent to India. Uh, singers, actors, and that's the reason, Shirji, they never speak a word against Pakistan. Whatever blast may happen in Pradhan Kot, whatever, Pakistani, they will not because when they go back, you are right. They, so it's a mission for them. This country, mein apne, you, you created a scenario. It is a garrison state. Oh, Dr. Shtiak, Ahmed has written very well, a good book about it. He calls Pakistan as a garrison state. So when you have a garrison state, while you try to poke others, you also feel very, very insecure. Now, when you're open-minded, open-hearted, you take few things in stride. Hota hai. But once you're into the garrison state mode, anything going out, coming in, has to be grilled. So this is actually very, uh, I mean, look at the way energies are being invested. And yes, any Pakistani coming to India, you take it, he comes with some kind of briefing, what he's supposed to do, whether it is clicking a photograph of a defense installation or whatever may not uh, even occur to us that this is something they're looking for. Uh, or a demography uh, survey of a point place or uh, visiting a mosque. And uh, I, I'm very blunt about it, but that's how they do it. They've done it in 47, 48. They've been doing every year, every time. So every Pakistani who steps into India, whether he's carrying a helpless child who's stage three terminal cancer or uh, polio to patient or is a celebrity, they come here on a mission and they are yes they are debriefed. So with this this lady who came who left her child child who who came with the children even I I have my own things like it's that impossible. is Seema Bhavi. You're talking about Seema Bhavi. Seema, ha, Seema ji. <laughs> <laughs> so they are smart. That way we must, this much we can grant them that they keep trying some th few things which we don't generally, we, we are not able to catch. No, abhi to abhi so social media has, coffee things are traveling as it is across the platforms. But yes, they've been doing this. And uh, in a way, uh, it only... Hey, Rena ji, a philosophical baat bolo ma, ek philosophical Jee. baat puchu ma. Jee. If, if, an, if a Fauji has his children, where do the children go to school? Fauji school, Sainik school or Kendri Vidyalaya. This is where they go, right? Where do India's Babu's children go? Why don't they go to the local public school run by the government? Yeah. Tumari yeah. To hai. Yeah. You are the one yeah. who are signing all the bills. So why don't you eat your own dog food? Yeah, bureaucrats ko na, inki so bhari padi hai. This is the problem in India. This is where I, I tell you, I am merciless about this. With some of the IS officers, IPS are good friends of mine. But this is where India makes a mistake. You eat your own dog food. You travel by public transport. Then you will know what's going on. Yes, sir. Back, back to you. No, that's right. In fact, when Americans make the claim like whatever happens in Indian cabinet within 10 minutes, 20 minutes, you come to know these claims are not incorrect. Because when you put <laughs> your child up the modern school, our top people, the so-called decision makers, their kids are studying abroad. Or Pakistan also has the same problem. That's yes, the reason yes, why Pakistan yes. also being so controlled so easily by anybody. Like CA can go and come back and Americans can go and come back because the whole army establishment has linkages with Americans. Uh, yes, very right. In fact, uh, uh, army say bureaucrats ko compare karenge, to bureaucrats will feel bad. Let them feel bad. This is a fact. We run our schools and we uh, send our kids to that. Those who, all our kids studied in, like you said, Kendri Vidyalaya and this. They don't do it. And that's the reason. And the hospitals. Now, see, CM of Himachal has now gone to uh, US for treatment. Now you ask CM Sahab, you don't even have one. As, as Sonia Gandhi goes abroad for treatment, having yeah. ruled our country for so many, they couldn't produce one uh, good hospital where they have. So these are the problems which, which ail all Asian countries, I mean, South Asian countries. And this also offer, gives an opportunity to outsiders to come and gain intelligence or have access into what they're not supposed to have. And naturally, you're vulnerable, Shiriji, when your child is studying in a prestigious school in uh, college in USA. And uh, in fact, there was a time, Shiriji, when uh, when Narendra Modi, chief minister that time, visa was not given by Americans. And there was a phase when a lot of scrutiny used to happen. In a, but army officers, I know my own friends, they were given visas immediately, serving army officers were Americans. And many people will say, yeah, Americans, that way, honor us. 
<laughs> they are not honoring that's how they cultivate people that's they cultivate they'll facilitate your uh, uh, travel into us because for you us jana bada zaruri hai whatever may be reason so they they help you so people are fascinated imagine if your kid gets admitted and he gets a subsidy subsidized education in america so you you are basically selling yourself and this happens as a routine in pakistan and it happens in many of cases in india i agree with you shri ji so 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 intelligence agar aap dekhenge it operates at so many levels you have i'm not talking of present day technology intelligence human intelligence so briefing people tasking them and they come into a country on tourist visa with whatever visa then you have these bureaucrats following for you your love and if you think that isi operates into india only directly no they also have friends sitting in new york or london anywhere washington feed from them then travels back to isi so it's not it doesn't stop at uh, one country doing favor to some people in another country and then taking making uh, taking advantage of that advantage advantage which they take is then sh- shared with others where they have the, something else some interest so this is how this vicious circle of intelligence and and, and then failures happen uh, this is a fact aise karte hain this is how it is done and they have no shame in it they we should be careful we should be ashamed of ourselves if we if we fall into traps that's what i would say thank you so much sir and we have covered a lot of stuff that i am hoping viewers you have not heard anywhere else before uh, colonel ajay raina is a mine of information and uh, it depends upon how we where he ask him the question he has the answer for us and <coughs> again this is going to be a series of conversations that we are going to be having with each other uh, colonel raina is amazing amazing that's all i can say do watch him on i think he comes regularly on dev talks with adi achan sometimes what happens is i try to listen to that thing and then try to come up with a extension of that a complement of that in p guru's channel that way what happens is those of you who are serious right you guys watch you should watch all channels i'm not saying you should only watch p guru's channel dev talks is something that i really respect i also respect uh, general ravi shankar's uh, channel gana shot especially in it matters comes to india's security military every citizen needs to understand there is a big disproportionate load being borne by our soldiers uh, not just in uh, india but also in the united, united states I have the utmost uh, respect for the soldiers of united states which are kabhi bhi they are ready to go and serve 30000 to 40000 have already left for new, uh, middle east now do you know that viewers 40000 or so in fact I, i would not be surprised if it has crossed 50000 now everybody is in strategic points along various places and because we don't know where these guys are going to start doing the next flare up so long story short do like this video if you have not already liked it because i'm still seeing only one third of you guys what is not to like about a p guru's program colonel ajay raina spends a lot of time doing the research for some of our program i mean we are not just coming here idhar udhar ki baatein nahi karte hain hum log to to tell you all these things in a cogent way if we have to spend time understanding kis par baat karenge kitna baat karenge this has been going on for two weeks uh, with uh, colonel raina to to get this thing going so please like this video and if you are not subscribe to our channel do subscribe to our channel uh, vijay uh, sorry colonel raina Jan- colonel raina ji if you with your permission um, can i uh, start taking some questions from our viewers please 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 so, shri ji please with your permission vijay ho gaya <laughs> so sorry <laughs> friends don't need First permission yeah. <laughs> parkle 35 wants to know uh colonel which pakistani pm got in cahoots with colombian cartels to build their own drug industry so uh people talk about uh, in fact if you study that time of it late 80s and early 90s or mid 90s there's a time when this colombian cartel and all these things and then afghanistan uh, drug cartel started taking over so uh, one thing we must understand uh, mr i'm sorry you I'm, i'll read your name farkle farkle p farkle ha pm in pakistan has no meaning we may blame benazir we may nominate anybody it is a pakistan establishment which does all this and pakistani army actually this this thing actually flared up during late 80s and then of course uh, till mid 90s uh, in fact if you remember that uh, earlier triangle in uh, asia was to our east and then suddenly the whole thing shifted this side the production was so much and then uh, then the reach was so much uh, 
and actually we should not be surprised all countries have slush funds uh usa everything is very very clear even there caa gets funds which are not mentioned in the budget so it happens the so books. drug yeah. drug is something which finances a lot of things in across the globe but pakistan actually uh, made it a, a kind of the point of survival and uh, whatever they did against india it was all drug money so prime minister could be benazir uh, but pm has no meaning in uh, pakistan it is uh, establishment so hamid gul ko bhi log they, he used to be called uh, charsi uh, uh, afimchi is uh, in fact in one of my books unholy jihad is portrayed as guy who is stoned so hamid gul used to do that also Uh, to have bhai chara with afghans because if you could smokes opium with the afghans pashtuns it is taken as a sign of very deep friendship uh, so yeah time period i am very sure but late 80s and 90s uh, pm is irrelevant benazir was the pm during uh, that and benazir did a lot of things in kashmir also which we forgot and we we started worshiping benazir also once upon a time she she is janani of uh, political support to jihad in kashmir so i would say benazir if you want prime minister this is my assessment i am not two, two mistakes indian have... sorry yeah two mistakes india made uh, in their trust about trust of pakistani prime ministers one was uh, uh, rajiv gandhi and benazir bhutto and the other one was uh, uh, i'm trying to remember it will come to me let's go to the next question i'll tell you which one it is where it has went to disastrous consequences atal bihari vajpayee of uh, parvez musharraf it has led to disastrous consequences because of no even, not even, musharraf nawaz sharif sorry nawaz sharif uh, no ash even mrs gandhi and uh, bhutto hmm. so 71 when we agreed to return those 93000 half of them forgeries and half of them civilians to pakistan and not ask for anything in kashmir not ask for our own pws 53 of them 150 of yeah. them but so the reason given was this only ki madam if i go back so the this is a time i am going to go back and hit the pakistan army and break the shackles of pakistan army and bring democracy into pakistan because pakistan army just lost out in 71 they lost face so help me build pakistan so that's the reason indira gandhi said okay okay yeah yeah we must have ensure democracy good democracy in pakistan and we are that mistake or whatever action we are paying uh, even today so but why withdraw raw from east pakistan what was the reason for that it matters another uh, it warrants another debate shri ji phir okay, koi baat let's do that let's do that yeah, let's do that right. let's do that yeah, next one was yeah um partha wants to know is the golden triangle and the shan this is the state the same thing what grows here i am sorry i am not aware what is shan i am not I'm sure. oh shan state in myanmar no 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 shan state in myanmar s h a n that is okay. where the golden triangle ka jo say headquarters hai yeah पहले था अभी काफी बेसिकली इवन अभी भाई म्यांमार श्री जी कम टू वेस्ट बंगाल सो सेम थिंग विच ग्रोज इन अफगानिस्तान इज नाउ ग्रोइंग इन आर मालदा इन वेस्ट बंगाल इज कॉल्ड मिनी अफगानिस्तान सो बेसिकली इट वाज सेम पॉपी प्लांट्स ओपियम प्लांट्स एंड व्हाट एक्चुअली हैपन पार्था जी दैट फ्रॉम वन प्लांट बोथ वेन यू लुक एट मेरियोना और यू लुक एट ओपियम दर नंबर ऑफ प्रोडक्ट्स विच आर टेकन आउट इट्स लाइक क्रूड ऑयल गिविंग यू पेट्रोल डीजल एंड lot of grease and lubricants so the drugs which have value in uh, open market internationally and which you keep hearing of whether it's cocaine or heroin or things like that they are all derivatives of opium so in that area uh, to our east and to our west to best of my knowledge it is opium which grows everywhere and now it is growing inside india malda that is coming up new center of export so you you will not be surprised that isi having lost drug control there is is pretty active to our in our eastern part of our country so this is one point which we must remember well india just finished uh, the drug production drug crops in manipur right so maybe india has to do the same thing in malda also of course mamta yeah. will be frothing in her mouth but so what so Mani, manipur is uh, only only problem is only because of drug nothing else yeah yeah akita politics hai so is s h a n right right <laughs> next one from magnet ranga namaskar ji isa probably find some success in india because india has enemies within your views sir 2.5 general rawat said long time back 
and uh, we also find success in pakistan because we also have friends there but here uh, in addition to covert people people who operate covertly we also have people who do it publicly so if you have a top politician going to pakistan and ask requesting them ki hamari government change kara do mani shankar ayer that kind of people you don't find in pakistan there is the only difference uh, covert operators underground workers on both sides every country has tentacles everywhere but you're right uh, in india just because of, out of hatred for present prime minister our people are doing silly things and they've been doing even before modi ji came into picture so earlier i used to think that these people are doing these stupid things because they hate modi ji which people generally believe but if you look at the history of all these guys they've been doing it before modi ji's arrival yeah so i think anti india thing is part of dna of many indians and uh, then they wo jo aap puch rahe ho zero uh, general rawat said 0.5 is almost as good as one so so we have three fronts going at the same time i agree with you these there we have so many of them in the street next one please abhinit singh wants to know sir kindly guide what is the status of myanmar issue and how will it impact india especially north eastern states i i believe uh, uh, rebels actually made uh, the janta junta like we pronounce it junta troops surrender today yeah. that be so so we we looking at something very nasty in our uh, immediate neighborhood uh, uh, our uh, boarding states will get impacted uh, by development because you know in in case of pakistan i am very sure that if pakistan breaks and goes to dogs tomorrow we have capability and we have kind of fence we will stop them we will not let the all those guys come in so called victims of uh, development in pakistan here the case is slightly different firstly myanmar ke sath the terrain is again very tough it is something like what we have in our uh, jammu and kashmir uh, and people will come into india uh, and uh, if that happens uh, naturally they'll bring along with the problems but i'm very sure if it, if that happens government is firstly vigilant government is keeping a very close eye it's not yesterday years when people could come and just become take over economy of a place if they at all they come into india uh, i'm sure there'll be camps organized they'll be sent back like one good thing i appreciate about mrs gandhi was 71 when Bang- bengali started coming into india she said we'll shelter you we'll give you food but ultimately you have to go back whether they were sent back or not that is a story which we all know but 71 ke time pe indira gandhi had taken this stance and this is what st- this is stance i am very sure government will take there will be impact felt uh, but see our trouble creators in inside in india uh, in, uh, trouble creators in india have bases in myanmar the reverse of that is not there so we we didn't mean to do anything in myanmar and so it's not that something happens there so we we will only be receiving few people unwanted guests for few days or few months for year depends uh, but it will aggravate manipur mein already problem ho rahi hai mizoram mein we can expect some kind of an issue but this is a huge development where hunta troops actually surrender to uh, uh, rebels today uh, and it doesn't augur well for myanmar and for us because hamara border ka jo terrain hai it will create problems for us it is i agree with you there will be problems next one please uh, durga das shinoy wants to know shri ji why do you stand for the whole program um good question durga das ji it has become a habit uh, i'll tell you one one important reason by working standing you lose about 100 calories just because you are standing hmm. so aap jo bhi aap exercise karte ho roz mein some days it is not possible mausam kharab hai mood nahi hai ya aur kuch bhi ho so if i can't exercise right at least i can feel little bit okay by सौ कैलोरी तो बन गया एक्सरसाइज का खड़े खड़े सो द हार्ड पार्ट वॉज टू गेट यूज टू स्टैंडिंग एंड वर्किंग एंड आई आई एडवोकेटेड टू एवरी वन ऑफ यू बिकॉज दिस डेज यू गेट दिस स्पेशल स्टू स्टैंड अप थिंग इवन इन इंडिया राइट वेन आई एम वर्किंग इन इंडिया आई हैव दिस स्टैंड अप प्लेटफॉर्म तो उठकर इट कम्स टू माई हाइट इज वेरी कंफर्टेबल आई कैन वर्क ऑन दैट एंड सो एनी वेर आई गो अन आई हैव टू आई आई वर्क स्टैंडिंग पांच फाइव सिक्स ईयर्स आई डन दिस थिंग and uh, i'm happy it uh, i i can only tell you guys that we are all you know 
we have one festival season that starts in 1st october and goes all the way up to sankrant three months in a year pata nahi kahan se aata hai you look at the sweet you start putting on bread and then when you consume it i can't even tell you what happens so this is my way to try and somehow do some justice to my body to do some little, a little bit of exercise that's all ragam 72 yeah shirji compliments to you you don't move around as much i mean generally man standing will tend to move yeah. around and shuffle a bit you don't Right, you look pretty right, right. stable standing <laughs> straight hmm. thank you thank you raghu raghu mr 72 sir what about the pakistani journalists who did lots of vlogs in india anybody cross verified their credentials uh you mean uh, pakistanis who come into india and do vlogs uh we also have our people going into pakistan now afghanistan has lot of indians traveling they come as as tourists uh so cross check i doubt <laughs> we, we we don't really bother about so much but uh, off late luckily not many pakistanis are coming to india after uh, after mrs savraj's exit and then pulwama and those things happening uh, visa also come down now uh, i don't think too many vlogs and abhi this reporter came along with the pakistani team shabir uh, ahmed or something he did a lot of vlogs vlogs here he went to all these ahmedabad bangalore and calcutta and became as he became a celebrity you know, because he was among one of few journalists who were given a visa to come in and uh, uh, cover pakistan cricket team in india so as on date the officially people coming to india is just a trickle uh, how much uh, credentials are checked i don't know i'm not very sure about it so i i won't like to comment but uh, there are others also like ठीक है वो पाकिस्तानी जर्नलिस्ट आगे वी लॉक करके चला गया दैट्स ऑल राइट बट देयर सो मेनी लाइक आई मेंशन इफ यू हैव पॉलिटिशियंस गोइंग इनटू आर पॉलिटिशियन गोइंग टू पाकिस्तान रिक्वेस्टिंग देम टू चेंज गवर्नमेंट इन इंडिया सो बिगर प्रॉब्लम्स आर देयर टू टेक केयर ऑफ एंड दिस इज लकली बिकॉज़ ऑफ लो फ्लो लो फुटफॉल देयर नॉट मेनी कमिंग इन अदर देन वर्ल्ड कप थोड़े से आए थे एंड दैट ब्रिंग्स अस टू अ क्लोज ऑफ व्हाट आई वुड कॉल एज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट फैसिनेटिंग सेशंस ऑन पी गुरुस and uh, colonel rana saab uh, naman you are amazing storehouse of information and uh, viewers please like share and subscribe to our channels and also please buy colonel rana's books very well written and uh, very thought provoking see we all we have why are we writing books and i try to answer this question myself that today the generation may not have time to read but who knows next generation may want to read may be curious what happened 100 years ago in india 50 years ago in india so at least our books will give you an insight into what was india and uh, that's the hope and books live forever right so thank you so much kanal rana ji namaskar and viewers please like share and subscribe to our channel thank you. sir if you want to say something in the conclusion go ahead no that's it shirish ji is a mission for me i mean i know it's same for you dev talks and so nice of you i have not seen uh, many hosts really recommending other channels and like you you are one exception other people try to know pull down each other but as long as our mission is clear that bharat needs to be protected needs to be projected uh, a soft power this is soft power which we have in our hand and we are doing our it's a mission mode for all of us so i think that is one common thread which goes across uh, platforms you named and uh, you and me and uh, adi and others so i hope whatever little contribution we can make collectively like which you said we'll move on we'll be uh, i mean we'll be past very soon <laughs> who knows what's going to happen tomorrow but yes whatever we do like i have authored 25 books shirji most of them are military history and there is a correct version of military history uh, unlike what britishers wrote about our wars in 47 48 if you read western literature and you if you happen to come to india i'll give you a copy of my book sure total contrast total contrast and again same thing not today 20 years later 30 years later somebody will pick it up from library and somebody will read it probably they'll get a, a more uh, accurate or a better version of or vision of what india was during our times thank you shirji thank you everybody for thank patience you. and listening to us god bless us all thank you